I think the kitchen is one of the hardest places in the RV to organize. Not only is it tiny, but there's all these awkward, weird little places that make it hard to find a place to put things away. So today I'm sharing my 10 must have items to get your RV kitchen organized. First up, bins and baskets. So one of the main places I use bins is in the pantry. So I use this little one here just to hold my reusable zip bags and then some um, cotton towels that I use in place of paper towels for food storage in the fridge. So this I usually have potatoes in, but we're out of potatoes. I need to do some grocery shopping. I use this for oils and vinegars. And then down here I have three plastic shoe bins that I use for canned goods so they don't fall over. Pretty much that's it in the pantry. And then another place that bins are extremely useful is in the freezer. So I keep all my frozen fruits in there, bagged frozen fruits for smoothies. And then in here I have all frozen vegetables and then the rest is just whatever, random stuff and meat and that kind of thing. So I also use them in the fridge. This is kind of a mess, sorry. Very helpful um, for keeping things from falling over when you're traveling. So I put all of our condiments in this shallow um, bin. I got this at Dollar Tree, gosh, I think like a year ago. And I made sure to get one with holes so that I could keep the uh, air circulation. And then I have one down here that I use for lunch meats. Um, Let's see, this bin, I guess you could call it a bin just for eggs. I can fit a lot of eggs in there. I had to interrupt right here because as I was editing, I realized that I have a lot more to say about this egg bin. The first thing is I can fit more than 14 eggs in here. I can fit 26. And the way I do that is, so if this was full, I take, I put one there, one there, like right, like all in the middle, but I can actually stack even two like that all the way. So um, actually, is it 26? It might be more like 24, actually. I don't, yeah, I think it was 24. Uh, but anyway, I can fit a lot more in here. I bought this years ago at our local Ace Hardware. It had a lid with it and I used to have two and I would stack it in my regular refrigerator. But when we moved into the RV, it, that was just not quite, it just wasn't going to work for our small fridge. So I ditched one of them and I also ditched the lid once I realized that I could put more on top. I found a set on Amazon that is identical to this. Um, it took me a little bit too because when I was looking, I kept finding ones that had a little lip that you could pull out like a drawer. And with that little lip, it won't fit in this refrigerator. And it's it's a standard, you know, RV refrigerator. So anyway, I found some that I think would work well. So I will link those in the description below. Now back to the video. And it's not too long. This fits our fridge perfect. It looks like it's sticking out a little too much but the door closes just fine. So um, another kind of bin, I got this one at um, Dollar Tree just for cans and that, this is so much better. I also use some bins in our big freezer. You can't see them <laughs> because this thing is packed. My husband just got an elk and so it is nice and full in here, but I have one bin all the way down at the bottom that has some stuff stacked um, vertically and it's flattened because see we we flattened all our meat as flat as we could get it and so i have them sitting in the bin like this and one so one bin is down there the same ones that i have in the small freezer from the dollar tree and then one on this side there's kind of a little bench down there and i have fish in there so um, it definitely helps save room save space um, and just keep things better organized. So I used to have my dish towels and dish cloths um, down in this bottom drawer, but I needed some more space for things. And then this is my fruit and vegetables. And uh, I just use command hooks to hang it up. So um, this is very sturdy, holds a lot. Definitely hang baskets on the wall. Another place I use bins is up here, my spices. You guys have seen this before. I never ever have to move that stuff. 
everything just stays in there nothing ever falls over for one thing there is a little lip here like all rvs have i'm pretty sure <laughs> it helps to just keep things wrangled these these random things up there like extra spices and marinades everything else is like bottled spices and like i said that just keeps it from falling over and keeps everything organized so like right here i have all my mexican spices italian and then you know baking spices sprinkles it just makes it much easier to find things too and put things away i use this little basket this is actually i got a two pack at um ikea and i keep my sweetener in this one for my coffee and then the other one i keep my tea so all my individually wrapped teas are in here and the ones that aren't individually wrapped go in here with some vitamins toaster i have to have this under the toaster because those stupid crumbs drive me nuts I feel like I'm the only one who ever does this. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen anyone else put something under their toaster, but I couldn't stand the crumbs just getting everywhere all the time. So the next place I use bins is the drawers, obviously. So this, I mean, this counts as a bin, a type of bin, right? So I've got one for the silverware. And then this is my, just another one of those little silicone bins. It, this was like a four or five pack at Walmart. Um, it came with a big one and then like two skinny ones and then one like this, two like this, and then a little baby one. Um, but anyway, I keep my beeswax wrap in there and I try to keep everything nice and tight so that it doesn't move around when I open and close the drawer and during travel it stays there. Let's see bins down here. I just have one down here and then um, instead of bins for this stuff, I can't put this in a bin because it'll be too high and then the drawer won't close. So I just use some of this shelf liner that's kind of like rubberized and it keeps things from moving around. So um, you can pick that up anywhere. Dollar Tree has it, Walmart. So if you don't have bins, those work pretty much just as well. Um... And then in here, just one little wire basket for my decorative towels and then can opener and stuff. This thing down here actually was a, it's a, it's a silicone thing that goes around your uh, faucet just to keep water from getting all over the counter. But it was too big for this one. And I was going to give it to my daughter, my oldest daughter, but it didn't fit her stuff either. So I thought, well, I'll just use it in here just to help keep things from moving around. So um and then of course bins down here and the the biggest purpose is just to keep everything you know where you can easily grab it and use it or easily just put it away um it just makes it much easier to find things and put things away and stay organized okay the next place i use bins is under the sink the first one is this over the door basket and I use my main cleaners that I use all the time on a daily basis and then these little crates uh, I think I got these from Dollar Tree a long time ago and I just brought them in here with me because I had them so this one just holds trash bags and lighters dish soap and some extra cleaners and then I have a metal bin here that has all my brushes and rubber gloves and like cleaning tools I guess in the back there that bin is holding my cleaning cloths it could be helpful to have like one of the a small bin just to kind of keep all that wrangled <laughs> if you know what i mean like it, it just keeps it all together but i didn't have one and i didn't really think it was necessary to buy one because um that's actually kind of some extra stuff that i don't always have uh so i guess i just didn't think it was necessary <laughs> Okay, and then I have under this wire shelf a couple um, couple more little bins. This type again from Walmart that holds my sponges. And then the other one holds my hummingbird feeders. Okay, so as far as bins under the sink, that's it. Number two on the list, over the cabinet towel bar. I love this thing. This one I got from Dollar Tree and I hang my dishcloth there because I want it to dry. I was hanging it, I want it to dry really well is the thing. Um, I was hanging it over the faucet, but 
I just didn't like it. It looks ugly, just hanging. I mean, I guess that's not, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's better, but anyway, it hangs right over. There's a little ledge, so it hangs right over. This dries really well. It never stinks. And I don't know, it's not so bad. I like it. I did put it here, but when it was there on this door, I couldn't open the oven. <laughs> and then I thought, well, okay, we'll do it over here. Well, no, cause the drawer hits it. So, uh, you know, that was my compromise is just to hang it up there. This is definitely, in my opinion, a must have just because there's not a whole lot of places that you can hang a rag. Um, you could put it on like a command hook or something, but for me, that's the best. Number three, grocery bag organizer. Okay, now I've showed you guys this before. I love this thing. First of all, it's not ugly. For some reason, it's a little dirty. How does it get dirty under there, right? Like, I guess water spots. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, it is kind of dark down here, but hopefully you can see it. I will leave a link in the description for this too. Um, it holds a ton ton of grocery bags it comes with um command sticky and it sticks really really well so um and if you wanted to it's nice enough looking that if you wanted to have it hanging out in your kitchen you know like maybe if you have a spot like that you could hang it there um and it would look nice i just didn't want it out i wanted it hidden so Number four, wire shelves. I'm sure you've already seen in here. I use them here. And I mean, this just gives you that vertical space. Um, if I didn't have that, <laughs> I mean, it would just be a ton of wasted space. I mean, that's crazy. So wire shelves, anywhere you can put them, anywhere that it works for you, use them. Definite must. See, and then I have another one down there just to give me a little bit of space under there, like a little cubby for some more pasta. And then I also use one up there to give me some more room for dishes. Um, and <laughs> there usually is dishes there, but right now they're in the freezer with leftovers. This wire shelf I got from Walmart, it's an extendable. It gives me so much more room and I know that my Corel dishes are nice and safe right there. And then of course I also put uh, this rubberized shelf liner here so that they won't slip around. So let's see, where else do I use them? Oh yeah, I've used one, I use one here. One right there to give me some more space for my spices. Number five, dish wand holder. I love this thing. I use a dish wand to do my dishes. Excuse my dirty sink, haven't cleaned it yet. Um, and I was having trouble. Like, I don't, I don't like to just do that because this gets all nasty, you know, like sour and stuff. Um, not to mention sometimes the soap will kind of leak out the side. So I found this on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. Very affordable. It's sturdy. It's not like cheap wire. It's very nice. Um, and just holds perfect. Any kind of brush you use actually would, that would work well for. So definitely a must have for kitchen organization. Number six, command towel bar. This camper did not come with any kind of place to hang towels except for the stove, but I don't like to hang them there because it can loosen and that's just decorative. We're not allowed to use that. But when you have a towel right there and you use it, it can loosen that handle. So I got a command towel bar. It's, just, it's really nice. It's pretty affordable and it's stayed, it's been up here for two years. So it works really well. Okay, and number seven on the list is command hooks. I've already showed you these baskets. I use command hooks everywhere, all over the camper, but I'm just gonna show you where I use them in the kitchen. So I use them right here for these baskets. I have one here that holds my aprons, one here that holds uh, my tie backs for the curtains that my husband finally let me 
make and hang up. These are also command strip curtain rod holders. Um, so that's nice. I didn't have to drill any holes or anything. So, and I have one here for all my scrub brushes and one here for a lighter, one hook for my pot holders. And then I have a couple command hooks here to hang our dog coat, back scratcher, and fly swatter. Number eight on the list is command dry erase boards. I have one here, one there, and I have some in my command center, but that's not really in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna show you these. This is just, just a note board and we hang our keys. Um, I'll just put like a quick grocery list, something that I want to make sure I remember to put on my list. Usually I've been trying to be better about this. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget, but I put the address up there of wherever we're at so that if there was ever an emergency, I can quickly just tell 911 exactly where we are. Cause half the time I forget. So that is a good safety tip. And the other dry erase board is my menu planner. And I've said this before, I'm not a big menu planner, but I do like to have at least a list of things that I want to make. And this helps me make my grocery list too. Number nine on the list is a silverware basket. This is a must have for me. It might not be a must have for you, but it freed up that whole top drawer. So all four of those drawers, well, you saw what I had in them earlier, but um, you know, I have plenty of room here at the table to just you know, we can sit there and I can have our silverware right there, just easy to grab. So um, then we're not climbing all over each other, trying to, you know, get our food and then get silverware. So uh, for me, a silverware basket is definitely a must have. Last but not least, another command thing, command Velcro strips. So let me just kind of show you everything that I have used the Velcro command strips. And actually, let me show you what I'm talking about, just in case you don't know. Okay, oh, and of course I don't have any. No, yes I do, okay. So it's a command strip, but it's Velcro. And so you take two of them and you stick them together, like Velcro, right? And one side sticks to the wall, and the other side sticks to whatever you're wanting to hang. So I use those actually all over the entire camper. I have not had any problems with these at all. Um, everything stays. I know a lot of people say they have trouble with these and I think there's a few reasons why. Um, number one, if you're not cleaning the wall with alcohol, and really, honestly, it's just a matter of following the directions that's on the package. But if you're not cleaning the wall with alcohol, and if you're putting something on it too soon, because you're supposed to wait an hour, some of them say 24 hours, and if you're putting something on it that's too heavy. So I always overdo it. I mean, like this thing is really light and I put two of them, you know, it's supposed to just be one according to the package directions, but I always overdo it. But I mean, you can hang up heavy, heavy things like this. This has been up there. I have four on there. All of my stuff is hung up with Velcro command strips. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of another spot in the kitchen that I use the Velcro. Oh yeah. I think I did hang this one up too, yeah. Yeah, I used the Velcro on this too. So I think that's it for the kitchen and the Velcro command strips, but definitely a must have for the whole RV. If you guys have any kitchen organization RV must haves that weren't on this list or any items that you'd like to share, comment down below because you never know who you might be able to help. Plus, I really enjoy seeing other people's ideas, especially when it comes to organizing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need any more organizing tips for your RV, you can click one of these two videos.